So I wanted to give one last good story. I did this course in last year called Soul Care by Rob Reamer. Fantastic course on inner healing and deliverance. There in chapter six, Rob gives the greatest story about his own personal life. He just got through with 10 days of teaching soul care to a PhD class. And basically at that point was completely shocked and starts seeing himself filled with anxiety and fear like never before. Usually in those situations it would subside in a little while, but this anxiety would not subside. He was left with dread and nothing he did would, would really do anything. So he cleared his schedule and started to spend some alone time and that didn't even help. And so he started sitting with the Lord a little longer and the Lord told him and gave him the phrase from Psalm 23, he restores my soul. And then the Lord told him, go into the chapel and sit in silence. He said, my presence is made manifest in many forms. My healing presence, my loving presence, my empowering presence, and my restorative presence. In this case, Rob, you need my restorative presence. Restorative presence can only be accessed through silence and stillness with the Lord. So for the next three months I spent, he says, 20 minutes at least, sometimes multiple times a day. There we go, remember, multiple times a day, not just once a day. Where I didn't say anything, I didn't pray anything, I affixed my attention on Jesus, and when my mind wandered, I brought it back. Over time, the anxiety began to wane. Every day I woke up with it and, and it stayed with me all along through the day. But as I waited along the Lord with the Lord and began to access his restorative presence, I could feel it losing its grip on me. After some time, it wasn't as strong. And a little more time, it became intermittent. And at the end of three months, it was gone completely. God restores, God heals, and God overcomes. So I hope that's a good story for you of silence and stillness and how we need more of the contemplative stream in Christianity. What we're doing is not good enough. It's shallow and it's not really deep. Amen.